So our first step is to focus on this section over here, sine 4t. And from our Laplace transform table, we can see that this is in the same form as this one over here, where our omega is equal to 4. So we substitute omega into our Laplace transform. We have f of s, which is what we call the Laplace transform, equal to 4 on s squared plus omega squared, so plus 16. So over here is our Laplace transform for only sine 4t. However, we have a composite function, so we have to worry about the t as well. And to do that, we look at this one over here, our s derivative. And it says that for a t to the power of n of a function, to find the Laplace transform, we take the derivative. So in this case, our n is 1, which means our Laplace transform is d to the power of 1 times ds to the power of 1. So this is the first derivative and our function f of t is sine 4t so what we want to do is find f of s for sine 4t which we've already found so we're taking the first derivative of 4 s squared plus 16 and because we don't have a negative in our question and our function format has a negative over here we will be applying a negative to our Laplace transform to stay consistent with the format. So basically all we need to do now is find the derivative of this function over here and we have our answer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to rewrite our function slightly different as 4 times s squared plus 16 to negative 1. This is much more easier to do the chain rule. So we have negative 4 s squared plus 16 minus 2 times the inside of the bracket is 2s. So if you simplify this down, we have negative 4 times 2s is negative 8s on s squared plus 16 to the power of 2. However, we must not forget that we also have a negative on the side that we must apply to stay consistent with the format of the table. So this would be positive and this over here is your answer